The purpose of this video is to provide users of powder actuated tools a visual reference of what proper fastenings look like and also instruction on how to adjust for over and under driven fastenings. There are two main aspects to a proper fastening, embedment and clamping. Proper embedment means the fastener has been driven into the concrete the required distance. This is important because the holding capacity of the fastener is directly related to its embedment. The required embedment, which is typically 3 quarters of an inch to 1 and 1 quarter inch, depends on the fastener type and concrete strength. Once the required embedment is established, add the thickness of the material being fastened, track or wood, to determine the length of the fastener. The correct length fastener, driven to the proper embedment, will result in clamping of the connection. Clamping means the underside of the fastener head, material being fastened, and concrete are all in contact. When a proper fastening is made, the head of the fastener or washer is properly and securely clamping the material being fastened to the concrete. The plastic washer can be either compressed under the nail head or completely gone. The wood or track feels secure and does not move. To help ensure that a proper fastening is made, make sure the tool is perpendicular to the work surface and not angled to one side or another. A fastener that is too short cannot achieve proper embedment and is therefore always underdriven, even if the connection is properly clamped. A fastening is also considered underdriven when the connection is not properly clamped. This can be due to the fastener not being driven to the proper embedment, caused by insufficient driving energy. It can also be caused by using too long of a nail. Performance and holding capacity are affected by a fastener being underdriven. Never redrive an underdriven fastener. You can adjust for an underdriven fastening by first dialing up the power setting on your tool if available or increase the cartridge power level. For instance, move from a yellow number 4 cartridge to a red number 5. A fastening is overdriven when the nail has been driven too far into or sometimes blown through the material being fastened. There is not sufficient material being fastened under the nail head or washer to carry the load. The material being fastened should not look damaged or cracked. This could also be due to the wrong power setting, cartridge color, or a nail that is too short. A new fastening should be made according to spacing guidelines found in the Hilti product technical guide for the diameter of nail being used. After confirming you have the proper length nail, you can adjust for overdriven fastening by dialing down the power setting on your tool if available or decrease the cartridge power level. For instance, move from a red number 5 cartridge to a yellow number 4. This video should act as a guide to help you achieve proper fastenings. Test fastening should be done in order to help ensure the proper fastener type, length, cartridge and power setting have been selected to achieve the required embedment and load for a particular application. Any questions, contact Hilti for technical support.